Red wine with meat, white wine with fish. Is that all there is? In my book, no. And in my book, I will tell you why. I consider this a really old school rule. And just like all of the other old school rules and information surrounding wine, um, I feel it's really outdated. We're in the 21st century, we're doing amazingly creative things with food and the beverages that we enjoy with them. So why don't we just step out and go way beyond this old, outdated guideline? I like to think of wine as a sauce for food. So let's imagine a really, really simple food, like um, a pan sauteed chicken breast, just really simple butter and salt, okay? You could do all kinds of things to make that taste really good. It's essentially a culinary blank canvas. Now, let's say you had a bottle of Sauvignon Blanc, it's a warm summer evening, and you wanted to have a nice chili wine, okay? So you happen to know that because it either says so on the back of the bottle or because you have a copy of my book, many Sauvignon Blancs have citrus flavor flavors and herbal flavors. So for your chicken breast, what you could do is add some lemon juice, put in some tarragon, two more ingredients, it'll taste even better. And what's more, it'll start to go better with the Sauvignon Blanc. What you've done is you've created a flavor bridge between the wine in your glass and the food on your plate. Essentially, the wine is acting like a sauce for your food, which brings them even closer together. And my book, Drink Wine with Dinner, a 100th birthday tribute to Julia Child is going to show you lots of different ways to go about doing this so that you can personalize your very own food and wine pairings. So let me give you just another example of that. Let's say you wanted to make a mushroom sauce for your chicken breast. You could venture outside the white wine with chicken and fish rule I wasn't even going to call it guideline, it's a rule. But now, with the non-rules that I have in place, what you can do is saute up your mushrooms, possibly put some red wine in the sauce. That can help it go with red wine. And maybe serve a Pinot Noir with it. Pinot Noirs tend to be earthy. They even often have mushroomy flavors. And when you match a flavor in the food, with the flavor in the wine, each one brings out the same in the other. Here's a great example of that. This, this shirt is a gazillion different colors. This um, v-neck is one color, but what does it do? It brings out the turquoise in my shirt. If I were wearing an orange uh, v-neck, it would bring out the orange in the shirt. And it's just exactly the same way with wine and food. Come visit my website, drinkwinewithdinner.com, and you'll see all of the updated information about my Drink Wine With Dinner book, and you will also be able to receive my free wine ebook.